Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your Wednesday, your home day, August 26th. Hold on. Yes, August 26th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this reading is dated for the 26th of August, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so no happy hour today. Um, as you can see, I'm feeling much better than I was yesterday. Um, some, some real shit, I mean like some, some real bullshit went down. Um, and it, it's, it kind of is a big deal, but it's not at the same time, or at least it doesn't have to be any bigger of a deal than it's become, or than it, than it was. It hasn't become anything more. It just was something. Um, and as you could tell yesterday, I was very, very upset about it. Um, for, a, a, f I, but I was upset from like a, a, a number of different angles. Um, and so we can talk about it. Yes, we can talk about it. Um, we're not going to do it here because it's it's a story. So I'll probably go on Instagram. I'll do like a little Instagram Insta uh, IGTV session and we can talk about it. And actually, I really, I should explain it to you because I'm taking a break. Not a long break. I'm just, for the rest of the week, I'm, I'm going to continue doing morning coffee. Um, but... I was supposed to be working on the monthly readings for September this week, and I need to not do that right now. <laughs> I just, I was, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I need to take some time um, to kind of like heal and recuperate and also like recharge my energies because I have been feeling fairly depleted lately between just, and it, it's not, it's not anything other than circumstances, facts of life, like. Uh, uh, someone mentioned yesterday that they noticed that I was a little off on Sunday or I was a little weird on Sunday. I mean, I was, I was okay on Sunday for the weekly check-in chat, but, um, keep in mind, I, I was just, I had spent the weekend dealing with a storm that never really materialized, at least in my area. The south of the island got hit pretty hard, but I didn't. And it was a situation where... <laughs> Me and my friend Aaron were just kind of like literally sitting there all day waiting for the storm to happen, like going through all this, all these things to prepare and blah, 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 blah. And then it just, it like barely hit us, at least where I am on the island. So that's, that's probably why I was, look, I was, my energy was a little different on Sunday. But anyway, so there, it's just, there's been a lot going on lately. And like I said, I had planned to do the weekly reading, I'm sorry, the monthly readings this week, but no. Nope. Um, <laughs> and I was talking to Carolyn yesterday. Hi, Carolyn. And I even said to her, I might cancel the monthly readings this month. And she was like, mm, maybe wait and see how you feel about that tomorrow. Sure enough, she was right. I mean, even, and even after I read her reply and I thought about it in that moment, I was like, okay, fine, maybe. <laughs> but then I woke up today and I was like, no, no, I can still do them. I just, I need to postpone it. They're going to be late. Monthly readings are going to be late. Um, which means I have to delay private readings a little more too. So I'm probably not going to be taking private readings until after next week. September 1st is on Tuesday, I believe, next Tuesday or this coming Tuesday. Um... And so, so I'm basically, I'm just pushing things back. So next week I'm going to be working on the monthlies. And then right after that, as soon as I finish that private readings, will be back open again. Okay. Um, I just need to take some time and just to chill and relax and to heal and <clears throat> get things in order here. Allie, <laughs> I'm working on the dresser, on the, the bookcase. I haven't, I want to, I, I want to get it all set up and then I'll show you, but yay. Um, so yeah, so, so that's what's going on. So ex uh, I'll go live on Instagram at some point, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how my day goes. Um, and I'll give you guys, I I'll give you guys the lowdown because also it is kind of something that we should talk about too. 
Um, and it's not a situation where I'm trying to uh, reveal someone's identity or um, shame publicly shame someone any more than they may have already been. Um, like that, that's not the case. It's just, it's something that does need to be talk about, talked about. So there's that. Um, yeah. So with all of that said, let's get down to business. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Okay. All righty. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, our hump day, August 26th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, hold on a second, guys. I have got to turn my fan on. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, I don't have an air conditioner or anything, and, and, and I'm not saying that I need it, but like, it's hot, dude. <laughs> and I was, I was sitting here like talking and like getting ready, and literally I could feel myself starting to sweat just sitting here, so we need a little bit of fan action. Okay. Cool, man, cool. So, Let's get into this, yeah? Five shuffles. Para el colectivo, para la colectiva. I don't know, I don't care. For the collective, okay. <laughs> One. Ooh. Hold on, wait. I think something... It looks like something. Hold on, give me a second. I think something is flipped here. Yes. Aw, the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, this is two, this is three, I want to play video games, I mean, this is four, I used to be a huge gamer, huge gamer, and I built this PC uh, back in November. And this is five. And I, I mean, it's a workstation, but also it's a gaming PC because I love PC games. And I think I want to just, because because that's fine. When I was back in Brooklyn during the whole lockdown um, in, where I was like supposed to be getting ready to move here and couldn't really, um, I did nothing. I literally did nothing but <laughs> smoke weed, drink, and play video games. <laughs> And I haven't done that since I got to Puerto Rico. I haven't done that. I haven't played a video game once. I haven't even played anything on my PlayStation. I think I want to do that. I think I want to get like really stoned and sit here and like play Planet Coaster or some shit. You know, I love Planet Coaster. Such a fun game. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. What's going on today, kids? What's going on with me today, Skates? <clears throat> they literally just said, that's all you need to know right now. Okay. Got it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You also have the Justice, Six of Cups, Judgment, and then you also have, mm -hmm. you also have, uh, it's interesting, this feels like two sides of an equation, um, but it's not really, I mean, yeah, it is kind of two sides of the equation, but it's, um, how do I want to say this, because these two other cards here, the two other cards you have are the King of Swords and the Ten of Wands. 
And what Spirit is saying, or what this kind of feels like, this energy is like the end result. So you have the catalyst here, Justice, Six of Cups, and Judgment. And the end result is the King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. And that's kind of, to me, that's... Ooh. Oh, well, there goes that cigarette. Anyway, to me, to me, the, um, this, the end result here is talking about being objective, being, um, clear, uh, clear on the situation, clear on what it is that you want, um, and making some changes, cutting some, cut some things away. What this feels like is like with the Ten of Wands here and the King of Swords, it's like the King of Swords energy is allowing you to sift through, ooh, uh, okay, allowing you to sift through the surface level bullshit in some situations and make something very clear or, or understand something very well, come to terms with something. See, uh, uh, I just heard see eye to eye with someone. You have, yeah, the justice, which the key word here is equality. And then you have the six of cups and judgment. So I feel like there's something from the past here that you are being called to, or someone else is being called to rise above something from the past, maybe an injustice, maybe some something that was unfair. Um, and judgment here is speaking to a very eye-opening, I wanted to say a very eye-opening point of view. So it could be that with this King of Swords and the Ten of Wands here, there's an, a level of bringing something to someone's awareness and sharing your point of view, being very honest about it, very clear and concise about it. And with this King of Swords energy, I feel like um, it's undeniable. I feel like it's very justified, whatever point of view is coming through here. And that point of view is very eye-opening. And thus, you have some sort of judgment call or rising above ascension, higher awareness, maybe even a rebirth too with judgment. And that's bringing justice in terms of the past. A past situation, a past circumstance, a past relationship, a past situationship, whatever you want to call it. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so there's a new beginning, a new start, a new opportunity Maybe to change the world is what I just heard. Okay, underneath that is the Three of Cups. And then underneath that is the Hermit. Uh, someone is shining their light. Someone is being authentic. Someone is being who they are. And that's causing people to come together. Uh, someone's being who they are, Hermit. That's causing people to come together in a greater sense of unity, Three of Cups, because the Three of Cups can represent community and friendship and reconciliation and celebration and all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm feeling from the Three of Cups right now. And thus, there is a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, a brand new start. I like this. I like this a lot. This is really cool. All right, let's get some clarification then. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. Let's start here. Judgment, Justice, and the Six of Cups. Okay. okay, you have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. That's great. You have that with Temperance. Ooh, the devil, strength, and the five of swords. Wow. Wow. Uh, 
there's definitely some sort of justice uh, coming in terms of something that was really destructive. Five of Swords. Um, and, and what I feel like is happening here is that the situation is evening out, is balancing out. Maybe someone is learning the error of their ways. Um, but also, I feel like what's happening here is with strength, the devil, and the five of swords, I feel like someone is getting the strength to stand up to some sort of injustice, is what I just heard, and, and to walk away, or to put the sword down and stop fighting about it, or to remove themselves from the situation. There's a greater sense of balance and harmony here, temperance. And I, I want to say someone is keeping a cool head. Someone is not going to extremes. There is a level of maturity coming through with temperance here. You have a new start. You have a leap of faith that's being taken here. Wow. And then with the uh, underneath the fool is the six of wands. So there's definitely a victory here. And I, I feel like someone is putting the past to rest. Someone is finally letting go. Um, letting go of the ego, ego battle is what I'm hearing. Letting go of the ego battle. Letting go of the struggle. Okay. Okay, so with that said, let's go to this energy, the King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. I, I think it's becoming very clear to someone just how burdened they are or just how burdened they could be, is what I just heard. Um, I, I think someone, I, I just heard objective thinking here. So I really, because the, the King of Swords is, is objective, is like one of, is the most objective individual in the deck, right? You can kind of see the King of Swords as the judge. The judge the judge and the jury even. But um some sort of some sort of objective thinking here is allowing you or someone else to put sh struggles, burdens and strife down. And not focus it on it not focus on it anymore, not have to deal with it anymore, choosing not to deal with it any longer. Okay, so let's get a little bit more here. Yeah, yep, 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 for sure, for sure. Okay, ooh, there you go. Now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Someone set the record straight. Or maybe someone needs to set the record straight. First two cards that came out was the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. And this came out and flew away, like flew on the over on the table here, on the desk here, or whatever. I'm actually sitting at a dresser, but <laughs> anyway. Um, it came out and it flew face down. So I feel like what's happening here is ultimately there is a change of heart that's coming into play with this situation. Uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. There could be an apology. There could be some sort of reconciliation. Uh, yep, cool. So um, what you have is the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands. And then you also have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress. And the Empress here is representing unconditional love. So here's the, here's the lowdown. Here's what I feel like happened here. There are two people, or two sides to this equation, one represented by the Queen of Pentacles, the other represented by the King of Wands. And I feel like something happened between these two individuals, in which somebody, King of Wands, thought that they had the upper hand or was in some sort of narcissistic or self-centered or egotistical energy and felt like they could just do whatever they wanted. And the Queen of Pentacles was like, or the person that is represented by the Queen of Pentacles was standing in their power and their their authority even is what I'm hearing and their self-worth, knowing what they're worth and all that and said, nobody. You don't get to do this to me.
And so there was a review, Seven of Pentacles. There was a moment it's like, okay, wait, how the hell did we get here? What the fuck just happened? And thus that allowed someone through critical thinking, Queen of Swords and King of Swords, we somehow something, some new opportunity has arisen, has presented itself, and it's all out of love. The Empress right now in this situation is, is representing unconditional love here and abundance and appreciation for all beings. So no matter what has gone on in this situation for you, understand that everyone is loved unconditionally by the universe. Okay? That's just how it is. And I mean, if you don't like that, then you, you got to take that up with God's source creator. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you, you know? I do feel like, I do feel like in some situation here, someone might be feeling like whomever did someone wrong is like a terrible person, awful, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I mean, I understand you're hurt, but at the same time, like, please sit down. <laughs> you know, like. The universe has got it. The universe is handling it, all right? So if you find yourself in this Queen of Swords energy, just, you might want to hold your tongue a little bit and not lash out too much, not not go to extremes, not try and make the situation any worse than it already is or already has been just because you're angry, you're hurt, and you're feeling a little bit, vind a little bit vindictive. That's not going to help anything or anyone, I promise you. Now, I will say with this Queen of Swords energy, also coupled with this King of Swords energy, someone was very clear and concise and set the record straight or maybe even laid down the law. And thus, there's a level of inspiration here to move in a new direction. You have the Ace of Pentacles twice and now you have the Ace of Wands, which was underneath the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? Uh, 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 underneath that is the Knight of Wands and then the Queen of Wands. So we have both the King and the Queen of Swords and the King and the Queen of Wands now. And then the Knight of Cups. So what this is saying to me from the Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands to the Knight of Cups, somebody, somebody has been a light. Someone, oof. Okay, someone showed who they are or someone showed their true colors, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, uh, depending on, you know, it, and, and it actually, it could be both sides of the equation. It could be that one person showed their, their true colors in a pretty toxic, narcissistic way, King of Wands, and then the other person said, hold on there, buddy. I don't think so. Well, actually, here. Hold on there, buddy. I don't think so. Which then, and thus light worker energy, okay, the Knight of Wands, which then inspired someone or, or sparked something, sparked a fire or sparked some sort of initiation of change in which now someone is getting a little more connected to their heart. Knight of Cups. And thus, because of all this, you have a change, Wheel of Fortune, and possibly even a reconciliation, Page of Cups, a new emotional start, a new emotional beginning, something like that. This is good. Now I understand, I, 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 what I just heard myself say is, I understand there's an ego battle involved here, but ultimately this is a good thing because it's changing perspectives. It's helping people or someone to see the light more. Uh, a change. I'm hearing they're they're experiencing a change in reality or a change in their reality, maybe even a change in their perspective through this situation. I want to get one last shuffle just to close it out from the tarot. Okay. Well, yeah. Get that. Leave it there. We have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck here, but then you have the King of Pentacles. There, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so I was just talking about change in perspective here, and I was like, hmm, we don't have, we don't have the Hanged Man. But now we do. King of Pentacles, Hanged Man, the Hierophant. 
established energy. This could be something societal. This could be religious. This could be a marriage. Um, but the Hierophant here is really talking about... Okay, Spirit just said societal conditioning. Um, and someone that may have been very rooted in this, King of Pentacles, is now receiving some sort of change in perspective here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So it's almost as if uh, someone is gaining a heart somehow. I do feel like there's uh, some sort of reconciliation that's coming. And not a reckoning. Not a reckoning. A reconciliation. Mending of the bridges between one another is what I just heard. This change in perspective has everything to do with love, compassion, and reciprocity. And I'm not talking about like love in terms of like a romantic relationship. And I'm talking about just holding unconditional love and respect for people. And I just heard their gender identity. Okay. You do have the Nine of Swords here though. But the Nine of Swords takes me back, is right back to the Six of Wands underneath that, and then the Fool. So even though the situation may be causing a lot of grief or anxiety, ultimately there is a victory here in terms of taking a, a, a leap of faith and moving in a different direction, allowing this change, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups, this change and this uh, reconciliation to happen, and allowing a change in perspective to come into play. Ch uh, the Hermit... Not the Hermit, I'm sorry. The Hanged Man, the King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're going with... We're going with the Gaia Oracle today for our Oracle Guidance. Oh, also, I want to point out, we do have, we have the King, oh, we have the King and the Queen of Swords, we have the King and the Queen of Wands, and we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a masculine feminine dynamic. Whether you find your whatever whatever your gender is, it doesn't matter. This is a this is this is a situation between masculine energy and feminine energy. And they're counterparts in terms uh, yes, they are counterparts here, but they're counterparts in terms of alignment with this situation. This is not the type of counterpart energy where like that I'm feeling that like you know, you guys are romantically involved. You could be. I mean, this is a general reading. Don't get me wrong. You could be romantically involved. But ultimately, it's more than that. It's more about the balancing of egos and the balancing of different perspectives. One from a masculine side, one from a feminine side. And there is a reconciliation and a healing that's happening between, between, well, okay, yes, between these individuals but also in this energy. Whatever this situation is for you, it's, 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 I'm, what I'm seeing, what I'm, what I'm seeing is like, yes, you have this masculine feminine dynamic where they're kind of like facing off, right? But it's much bigger than that because I'm seeing that interaction, but I'm also seeing the bubble of energy around it that's changing the situation or that is changing because of the situation. It's like the, the ripple effect or the, 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 the wave of change that's coming through because of this circumstance in which masculine energy and feminine energy are kind of facing off and their counterparts here because they're in alignment with each other in order to work this out. Do you understand? In order to have this experience, to change, to get this change in perspective and to allow to allow God's source creator to do its work in the meantime. Interesting. 
okay. I get that with that one. I feel like it's, um, you know, the situation happened. Okay. But there really isn't much else that you have to do about it. Now you just have to let that ripple effect come into play. You know, you just got to let that wave flow and go crash wherever it's going to crash so that change and healing can ensue. Very nice. All right. Oracle guidance. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right. Ooh, that's too many, you guys. <laughs> One card, please. Oracle guidance for the collective. Close out. Okay, well, they're still giving me multiple, but that's fine. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you have liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. There you go. There you go, right there. Ooh, 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 wait, sorry, I have to, I have to start a, a new file. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, so good. At the bottom of the deck, you have liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. Excellent. That's exactly, that feels like exactly what this is. And then you have, oh, geez, you have three cards. All right. You have purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth, wholeness. You have reflection, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. And then you have eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. So these tend to be pretty short. So I think we're, we're just going to read all three of these. All right, purification. What is it that your heart truly desires? What do you perceive is missing in your life? In order to find the answers, you must look inside your heart. You already know this, but have been reluctant to look because a part of you fears what your heart is trying to tell you. The only way forward is to face your fear. Something in your life is not working out as you would have liked, and it's not going to get any better unless you have the courage to face it. Close your eyes and relax. Imagine a beautiful flame warming your heart and soul. Feel its purifying and healing light burning away your fears and doubts, healing your body and mind and clearing away all obstacles, either imagined or real. Feel your heart center as an endless space full of only love and light. Feel the peace. You are safe in this eternal space of light. Now, what is your heart saying? When it brings a tear to your eye, you will know that it is your truth. Your soul will guide you towards happiness. All you need to do is follow. Trust. The affirmation here, and read this with me, or say this with me. So the affirmation is, I listen to my heart and follow its guidance. I deserve to be happy. I have the power to create my reality. I trust that all will work out well. My life is clear of obstacles. Excellent. Next, let's go with reflection. Oh, you know what's so funny? I should have done reflection first because it's number 13 and purification was card number 14. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> reflection. Illusion. Self-examination. Distortion. What you see around you mirrors what you feel within you. The chaos you perceive or experience in your physical reality simply reflects your inner chaos and turmoil. If things are not working well in your outer world, what is it that is not working well within you? This card calls for a thorough self-examination. Do not merely skim the surface. You must delve deep to uncover the truth. This will take time, patience, and commitment. Observe your thoughts and feelings through, throughout, the day t throughout the day and make a note of negative or unconstructive thoughts and feelings. This practice over time will in itself help heal and restore balance to your life. It may be helpful to keep a diary in which you note your thoughts and feelings. What is it that triggers these thoughts and feelings? 
journal writing will also help provide will also help provided that the journal is for your eyes only. It may also be helpful to seek professional advice from a qualified counselor or health practitioner who has experience in this field. Commit to this reflective journey. Be disciplined in your approach and you will never look back. The rewards will be greater than you ever imagined. Your affirmation here is, and say it with me, if you like. My heart is full of love and light. All is well in my world. I feel the peace within me. And this creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel. Each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed to love. Excellent. Finally, we have card number 19, Eternal Dance. Eternal Dance skis. Sorry. <laughs> Movement, wheel of life, the path of least resistance. The lady featured on this card com is, uh, feels completely at one with nature. She is in tune with the rhythm of the earth and her changing cycles. She does not resist the forces of nature, but moves gracefully with the wind. Yet, through her body sways, I'm sorry, yet, though her body sways with the wind, she is not swayed from her path, for her feet are firmly planted in the earth. She remains poised, dignified, and balanced. She has shown up in your reading today to help you loosen up and feel the rhythm of life. You will benefit greatly if you allow yourself to be a bit more flexible. Be open to new ideas. Accept that, is natural for thing, that it is natural for things to change. Do not resist life's natural flow. If the path you are on seems to be all uphill, then find another way. There are many ways to go where you want to go, so find the way that offers the least resistance. Life does not need to be as difficult as you are making it. It is often easier to dance your way through rather than try to push your way through. Try it. Your affirmation here is, I accept change and embrace the new possibilities it brings. I am flexible and open to new ideas. I create pleasure in my life. I look at life from a balanced perspective. I celebrate life and dance my way through it. You better get to dancing, y'all. <clears throat> All right, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Bye. <laughs>